My name is Martin Nashville, aka Mr. Sexy Dad Hat on as a coach Lily. And today I will be doing a review on Wonder Woman 84. Yes, the sequel. Now the previous film had taken place up in World War One, and now Patty Jenkins has taken her audience in the 80s era. Now me, I really like the 80s. I like what Patty I, I like what Patty has done. Uh, I love the cars and those neon colors and the clothing that they were wearing in that era. And I really love that mall scene. I thought that was great. That was dope. And you seen her fighting. And, uh, it was just, it was just epic. That introduction scene was just tight to me. It was just tight. Just fire. Just fire. And um, I really love this actress. People had doubted her and told her she wasn't a good fit for this movie. I'm talking about Kristen Wiggs. She she nailed it. She did her thing, that nerdy, that dweeb look. She really nailed it, but she still looked sexy at the same time. Her playing Cheetah was just great. She was the highlight of this movie. She really played that role, and I liked her. I remember the haters. She's up in comedy films, and like she proved herself, and I'm proud of that girl. She did her thing in this movie. She was just spectacular. So, you know, hey, I took my hat out to that woman. And also, uh, Pedro Pastel, he did his thing playing... Uh, Maxwell Lord, he did his thing. Um, um, he was a man down on his luck, and he finally had gotten an opportunity, and he took it. And uh, he sort of reminded me of the Wishmaster. It was this horror film, and like he reminded me of that. And like he had this, and uh, but Maxwell, um, he had this innocent appearance but he was very menacing i liked what he did in this movie it was great i was like okay uh he made a good new addition to this cast he did he did he really stole the show for me as a viewer of this of this film now i gotta get now i gotta i have to tell you guys my gripes with Wonder Woman 84. And my gripes is Gal Gadot. She had those plain facial expressions on her face. She couldn't act if her life depended on it. I remember the camera was close up in her face and like she had the same facial expressions. I'm like, what the heck is going on? She is just a cute Face. That's all Gal is. She is a D-list actress. I was, I did say C, but now it went down to a D. I was not impressed by her performance at all. In this film, it was, it was a drama romance. That's what this film was. It wasn't a superhero film. It, it had missed those elements. It wasn't there. It was it was absent. So I'm like, damn, what the heck is going on here? And yeah, Gal did terrible. Just just terrible. She didn't felt she didn't feel as as if that she was a hero to me. And it was a lack of fight scenes in this movie. I was disappointed. I'm like, where the heck is the fight scenes at? It was a bare minimum in this movie. I was like, okay, cool. I know what's going on here. We, we about to just focus on the romance and the and make people emotional. That was Patty main concern in this movie. And I was like, okay, cool. I guess, I guess. But me, uh, yeah, uh, the 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 first act it got boring. It got dull in in the pacing of this film. Like it was off. It felt rushed. I'm like, okay, for sure. It was scene after scene. It didn't get into like any any details. And I felt and I was very disappointed 
in that. But uh, overall, like if I had to to grade this film, I would give it. Uh, I would give it a C, a low C. Uh, you, you just passed like that type of C, cause this film like it was just it felt off. Like it had some issues. It had some major issues. And you and like I went in in this film being anticipated. I had high hopes. And now after me like I witnessed something terrible happen in this in this film. Like everything in the pace and it was just it just fell off. So uh me uh yeah man that's my review on Wonder Woman eighty four. I hope you you guys enjoyed my review. Like, s subscribe, and hit that bell. If it if it don't got that X on it, it don't got my stamp on it. And me, I keep it authentic at all times. My name is Marvin X Files, aka Mr. Sexy. That hat on as if I coach Little League, and I'm out. Two fingers, peace.